Okay, this is just a quick little read, and it really will be quick because I got other shit to do. <laughs> Who is coming towards Sagittarius for the week? Who is headed towards Sagittarius this week? Who is headed towards Sag this week? Wow, that flew out before I could even. Knight of Cups. Six of Cups and the King of Wands. Somebody from your past is coming back to offer you love. This person's very nostalgic about the good times you used to have. Yeah, this person's returning to you. They view you as the Queen of Pentacles. And they want to come in and like offer you an apology here. Yeah, so you're going to have a decision to make. This person could have been indecisive about you and somebody else. But they view you as a Ten of Cups. Somebody they could have a family with. Yeah, they want to make peace with you. So this person wants to come in and make peace with you. Yeah, this person could have been juggling you. They could have been trying to pick between you and this Queen of Pentacles if the Queen of Pentacles isn't you. Yeah. So this person's walking away from somebody to come your way. They're going to message you. This person may tell you about this when you see them. Because they've been holding back communication from you until they can make this decision. Yeah, definitely a third party. person wants to reconcile with you and I feel like let go of the third party this person's been holding back on purpose because they were indecisive about something whether I feel like it could have been another person but this person is no longer holding back and they're just they're just they're choosing to work with you okay um they're choosing to kind of let go of this energy of like oh this relationship could be a lot of hard work They're going to be like really charming towards you because they know you're very guarded. So they're going to try to get you to like let your guard down. Yeah, this person's very passionate about you. So they want like this new passionate beginning with you. <clears throat> they could also know that you get like a lot of attention. So they view you as very successful, very good looking. Max. Max. He's sleeping. <laughs> He's like kicking the door with his foot. He must be running from somebody. Yeah, this is a match. You and this person are very attracted to each other with the King and Queen of Wands. A lot of sexual energy. This person views you as somebody who's very spiritual too. Max. Hey. He ain't waking up, boy. He's really running from somebody. Yeah. They want to start a new cycle with you. Can you hear him? Listen. <laughs> he must be barking and growling in his dream, getting chased. He is really at it. The moon. This person could also have a fear about something. What do they fear? Oh, they fear that you have moved on to new love. So this person's afraid that you have a that you have a hidden lover. Yeah, and that you kind of are not telling them. So they feel like you're not telling them something. They feel like, okay, so if you left this person in the past, they feel like the reason that they you left is because you had a new lover. Yeah, and they feel like that's not fair. So this person also could have made the wrong choice. They could have done you an injustice, and they're realizing that because they pick somebody else over you wow two of cups reverse so this person wasn't be didn't treat you right
And then we have this King of Cups who's coming towards you too. Hmm. This could be somebody who picked the wrong person over you. And now they're realizing you're the right person. Yeah, they put you in some type of competition here. And so now they're stressed out, worried, having anxiety. Yeah, they don't feel like they're stable. So you could have two different people coming towards you. There could be a King of Wands and a King of Cups. This King of Cups is like stressed out, worried about something. Yeah, there goes a damn Virgo. So the King of Cups could be a Virgo. And they're worried about the King of Wands. <laughs> Oh, shit. This person, who in the hell are y'all messing with? This person's worried about, they're stalking you, watching you. They're worried about a third party. So you got two different energies coming here. They're waiting for you, watching you. Trying to figure out who you're giving to. So, like, when you're not with one of these people, they start freaking out, wondering what you're doing and who you're doing it with. And they get pissed. So you got this pissy individual here. Not that they're actually like pissing yourself, but <laughs> y'all know what I mean. They're pissed off. Oh, yeah. So there's somebody here who could have lied to you or they are a liar. Or they feel like they feel like you're being sneaky. Yeah, there's somebody here coming in you need to be careful about that could be trying to look at your finances you need to do some praying about this yeah you guys somebody coming in here who could be trying to offer you love but they have like their intentions aren't pure so you need to get like a higher perspective on this this person may betray you yeah, there may be a freaking betrayal going on. Isn't that fucking lovely? So, okay, before I go, and then I gotta fucking go. <laughs> Sorry, I need to quit cussing. I've gotta quit cussing. I have to. Um, Spirit, what is this bullshit about the Tower and the Seven Swords? Who is this? What is this Tower and Seven of Swords energy coming this week for Sagittarius or whoever's watching? What is this Tower, Seven of Swords for Sagittarius or whoever's watching for the week? Uh, this is a selfish individual coming. Four of Pentacles, the Devil. This is a selfish son of a bitch. This is somebody who's only in, interested for their own financial gain. Or they're just really greedy. Yeah, they're greedy and they're pissed off. <laughs> they want to rush in and say something to you. They view you as the Nine of Pentacles. They think you're very good looking, independent. Junior Emperor. Ooh, they think shit's going in your favor and they're pissed off. This person's pissed that you're doing well. They want to come in and get this wheel moving. Yeah, and then we have the King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, this person could want to heal something with you. Or they feel like you're a healing energy. Three of Cups, Reverse. Something about a third party. Huh. Yeah. That's strange. What the hell are you trying to tell me, spirit? Because I'm lost. Because <laughs> look, okay, this is what's fucking weird. This king of cups has a cup in his hand. But look, they just depicted this twice. Here goes the three of cups. It's in the reverse, though. And then here goes the ace of cups. And it's in the reverse. So is this somebody that rejected you in the past because they went to a third party? There's somebody coming back. Maybe you rejected them. Maybe you rejected them and they're pissed about it. But somebody's rushing in here. And they're not coming to offer you new love. 
and they could be focused on the past. This could have been somebody who, damn, you see that shit? Those cards almost fucking fell. Look at this, what's in the middle. The Emperor reversed the Six of Cups. This is somebody from your past who is trying to come back and get control over a situation. Damn, the way that those cards just did that <laughs> are making me feel like the, the there's a tower energy for real attached to this. Maybe this person just went through a top. Can't fucking make it up. Can't fucking make it up. There goes the tower. And it's funny. I was just saying that. Like, I, I don't. If you guys have been watching me for a hot minute, I don't think I've ever fucking, like, had to, like, catch the, uh, the thing like that. There's a tower. This person, either you and this person were separated and now they're coming back. Got the damn king of wands down here. Oh my goodness. And then look who's on top of the tower. The King of Pentacles. And the High Priestess. So there's something about you need to listen to your intuition this week. Yeah. Oh. Who? Okay. Okay. Oh my God, this is shit. <laughs> it's like this. I always. Why can't I ever just do a quick fucking reading and be gone? Okay, this King of Cups is coming back. They feel like you're a healer. Um, I feel like they just got out of something. Okay, they're coming back your way. I don't really know what for. I don't feel like it's anything bad. Okay, now there's a tower that's gonna happen with this King of Pentacles though. And it, they're not attached to the King of Cups. Um, I feel like this King of Cups is going through some type of a rejection with a third party or something. And they view you as like a healer. Okay. Or maybe you're going to help them heal. They're destined to come back. Okay. So this was, this is like they're in your soul contract. They're not, they're not bad. This, this person, this person was betrayed by somebody else. So this could just be a friend. I don't know. Uh, it could be a past love, maybe. Fuck, like, I don't know. But they're not. I don't feel bad from them. But then there's this tower. And it's funny, the damn cards about went flying in the damn table. Um, and it's this king of pentacles. You need to listen to your intuition. Because there's some type of heartbreak going on with this Taurus Virgo Capricorn. It could be Libra, Pisces. But I feel like it's an earth energy. This person's going to return from the past and apologize to you. You got two apology cards next to each other. They're worried about something. Because they're coming at you really quickly in this Knight of Wands energy and the Hierophant energy. Like, this person could be trying to come and tell you that they were, like, in this player energy before, but now they want to be, like, in a commitment. Oh, my God. What the hell? <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> no. Okay, y'all better run. Keep the door locked. Okay, um, Eight of Wands, lots of communication. There's somebody coming back here. They're listening to their intuition. They're realizing that they're meant to be with you. Like this person could be go. This is your divine counterpart, whether you want to believe it or not. This is uh, somebody you are meant and destined to marry. Uh, you Or you could have been married in a past life. This person is going through a fucking awakening. Big time spiritual awakening. This is your match. This is the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. This person is, the tower is, they are going through an awakening. Uh, spirits causing their world to crumble and them to go into this heartbreak energy because they are destined to come be with you, whoever this is. And they have just now pieced this shit together. 
and this week you're going to hear about it. There's going to be a tower moment. Um, matter of fact, I'm almost wondering if I read those other cards here wrong. This King of Cups could have realized this King of Cups could be this damn King of Pentacles after all. They realize that they picked the wrong person or something, and they are coming back your way, okay? But it's because they're having a spiritual awakening, okay? This is a divine counterpart. This person might have just in the past played games, like maybe they have been going in and out of your life for years or something, but it's like they <laughs> realize something. Now, I don't know if the King of Cups is somebody else and it woke this person up to make them realize like how much they love you, uh, but they're headed your way. Like I said, um, I can't as a reader bullshit you. <laughs> this is a this is a divine counterpart. When you have the High Priestess and the Hierophant and the lovers out here the way that it is, this is somebody that God is putting in your life like you were meant to come together and there you are as the empress this person's realizing you're the person that they want to marry and they just got clarity on this this person is having a fucking spiritual awakening about you Sagittarius or whoever you are and they now realize that you are the wish fulfillment that they've been wanting. This is somebody who's very protective over you. Or they're about to start being very protective over you. They want to block people from you. It's like this person's like, this is my empress. And if any of you little hoe cakes or scallywags try to come get my empress, there's going to be a fight. Um, this person's manifesting you. They going to take action towards you. Like I said, they watch you. This is somebody who watches you like a hawk. Whether they're with you or not, they somehow watch you. Like they're always curious what you're up to, what you're doing, who you're doing it with. This person sees you in their future. Oh my God. So when they look at you, they look at y'all as being married. This person's, something's happened with this King of Pentacles and they woke up and they're like, son of a bitch, Sagittarius is it. Why am I always watching Sagittarius? Why can I not stop thinking about Sagittarius? Why am I always so worried about who's with Sagittarius? Why do I feel like I need to protect Sagittarius? Because this is their divine counterpart. Yeah, like I said, they're worried. This person's worried who's at your home, too. Like, this is stressing them out. Yeah, because you know what? why they're off gallivanting with whoever? Because I feel like this person could be with somebody or something. They're worried who you're with when you're not with them or when they're not able to talk to you. This person thinks you're juggling when you're not talking to them. They think... Oh my god it's just a repeating story which one of y'all and i'm i'm gonna step on one of y'all's toes because i'm tired of this <laughs> which one of y'all has a king of wands and a king of pentacles after each other this king of pentacles is realizing that they want to like marry you be with you but they're freaking out because they think that there's a king of wands around you when they're not around Yeah, they think that this King of Wands is, like, messaging you. <clears throat> they think you're getting, like, wish fulfillment with them. Yeah. They think you're sneaking around with this King of Wands. So that's what the Seven of Swords is. Yeah, and this burdens this King of Pentacles. So this King of Pentacles is burdened, okay? Uh, because they think you're sneaking around with the king of wands so that's what the seven of swords is it, that came out a minute ago the tower is this person going through an awakening and they think about you day and night this is somebody who over analyzes all the time yeah they were holding back but they no longer can 
they can't hold this back anymore yeah and they're tired of like being left out in the cold they want to come out of the cold yeah so this person the king of pentacles is worried the king of wands is returning um and gonna offer you something like long term And they know you have a choice to make. They know you have choice. Yeah, this person's about to go batshit crazy. So this is a warning read. Whoever this person is, Sagittarius, they're, they, this is a divine masculine. So even if you're a male, they're, this per, it's like, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, okay? The divine masculine energy is having anxiety, stress, and worry over you. Um, I feel like they could be involved in some dumb shit, but they're going through like god is waking this person up this person's realizing that they need to break this cycle of this devil energy so that they can come to you and be in the lover's energy because in the lover's card there's an angel okay so they could be around somebody that they just constantly fight for or fight or are fighting with there's a lot of drama chaos blah 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 they need to break away from this devil energy and then they're going to step into this emperor energy. But this person also wants to fight off any competition. This person wants to come in and like beat out the competition. Yeah, this person's going through an awakening, a spiritual awakening. This person's coming back your way. They don't they don't even look at the other options. Like you are the option. Yeah. This person's gonna come in and put work in and make sure that you're not giving to anybody else. This person wants to come in and be honest in this King of Swords energy and tell you that they want the Ten of Cups with you and they want to like forget about the past. Yeah, this person's never let go of you. This person's holding on to you. They want to build and create with you. And they're going to communicate this to you. So be expecting that this week. Let me comment and let me know later when it happens. Um, you're dealing with somebody who's going through a really big spiritual awakening. They're like they're realizing something. And you're going to have like a choice to make. But there's three prominent energies this week. The king of cups king of wands king of pentacles did i already roll those dice i can't even remember let's do it again <laughs> i'm done did too much today so one one three angel number and then seven two seven so one one three seven two seven Gemini, Aries, Cancer, Taurus, Scorpio, Virgo, Sag, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, uh, Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, Sag, Libra, Pisces. Okay, something's balancing out in your favor. Okay, have a good one. Love you guys.